England are looking here at the chance to become a part of football history. We've had the greater part of a month of endless football. These championships have been full of talking points and debates, and it has been thrilling to be engaged in it. Euro 2020 has been special, memorable, magical for so many reasons. The fans have been unforgettable, as has the drama they have witnessed. It has never stopped giving, and as the curtain opens for the very last time, we look forward now to joining in the final chapter. The grandest game in this summer's grand event, and we are thrilled to have you with us for it. This, of course, a venue that needs no introduction. The iconic arch, a symbol of Wembley Stadium, the home of football. So here is how they line up, and nothing can top this moment for either set of players. It is without doubt, Peter, the greatest show we have this summer, and the fact that this is like a celebratory edition too makes it that little bit... Has a hit! And he nearly went all the way. He was set on rounding it off in fitting style, but he couldn't make it fit. Kyle Walker. Walker plays it forward. Kane. And it's Rashford. Kane! That has certainly tested the keeper. Kane sparked a tremendous stop there, and I think it's fair to add, he just wasn't expecting it. Ball's loose, who's getting there? Immobile with good energy in defence as well. Well, they say that your front lads should be that first line of, um, of stopping the opposition, and I think he's taken it to another level with his desire to get back and, and help everyone out. Italy have made it clear what they're trying to do for me, Peter. What are they trying to do? Well, I think they're making the pitch as big as possible to work both flanks into, into better supply routes. Insigne absolutely focused then on the defensive side of his game. I think it's great to see that kind of application and desire from a forward who wants to help out his defence. I, I think, you know, any good team, really, your striker should be the first line of that defence, and, and he's delivering. Referee rightly gives him offside. Berardi. Now it's Berati. Jorginho. Quick concert goal. Oh, that's a foul, and the whistle's gone. And he's going to have his name taken. Protest continues, but in the end, they are defending the indefensible. Yeah, well, they were exposed and, and vulnerable, and he knew he had to do something to prevent a goal then. Insignia! It's anyone's ball. Madison goes looking. Walker tries to stroke it through. Donnarumma sends that a long way. Forward it goes. And it's Sterling. He'll hit it! Great effort, beautifully taken. Sterling almost put a side ahead with a, a pretty fierce attempt. He really spanked that. Berardi tries to get it forward quickly. Rice. And here's... It's Insignia! Big relief, it just needed better contact. Lorenzo Insignia controlled that with such ease and really ought to have followed it up with a goal. Dinks one in. Immobile, his flag offside. That always looked inevitable. The defence dealt with that really well. And here's Immobile. 
Over to the left. Across the field it goes. Berardi. Played out to the right. Now it's Berardi. Berardi with the delivery. Chance! Goal, Italy! Could that be the start of something big? I can give the keeper a little sympathy here because I think he might have been slightly unsighted. However, credit where it's due, it's still a fine finish from a tight spot. Italy have made their breakthrough, so can they build on it? Well, Peter, the emphasis should now switch to winning it rather than even thinking about losing it. And it's Chilwell. Oh, shooting chance! It's in! They have grabbed themselves an equaliser! And that is about as cool as they come. He picked his spot expertly. Well, I think two keepers would have had a hard time keeping that one out, never mind one. There was real venom in the strike and, and clear composure from the placement. That has certainly made things interesting. Well, they just couldn't have responded any better, Peter. Yeah, there's the old cliche about how teams can lose focus after scoring, but you still have to take your chances. Brilliant. He's got options in the box if he gets his head up. Chilwell drives it forward. And now they can launch a counter. Sterling. He's through. Walker. It's a great... And the shot! Oh, the keeper's done ever so well. Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with. Bonucci pops it away. He wasn't very far from making something happen by himself. Lovely to see. Maguire has been caught there. It's a foul. It's a loose ball. And here's Rashford. Big chance! Jorginho is there to heave it away. Italy to retain the ball, but uh, seemingly in no rush to break forward. Chiellini switches it towards the other side. It's come loose. And back to base. Maguire. And it's Chilworth. Rashford. Rashford! Play for a throw. It's over the line, and that'll be a goal kick. Well, there's the whistle. The first half of the final has flown by. But it has been an even contest, as the scoreline suggests, and it has been more than decent to watch. So, Jim, the halfway point of the final, what are you thinking? Oh, first half that expectations are made of, and the final that is ebbing and flowing with two teams that are willing to throw everything they've got at this. It's a treat for me. It's been a decent 45 minutes. Competitive, certainly. A goal each. We're probably into the second 45 minutes. Some good work on the right flank. Now, what's next? Just brushed off the ball there. 
Loose ball, who's going to get there? Kyle Walker. Madison. And here's Kane. Into the channel. Rest hits one! He scored! And some players are just capable of grabbing a game by the scruff of the neck. And his immense talent, they just have done exactly that and injected the belief that they can retain their lead this time round. Oh, beautifully dispatched. There was no reaching that. Now that's what I call finishing, right in the corner. He knew instinctively who was where and didn't need to waste any time weighing things up. That's a cracking goal. England get themselves into the lead. And they deserve great credit for turning things around, but they'll now need the defensive resilience to equal that attacking flair. And helps available out wide. Jorginho does well there, alert. Lorenzo Insigne. It's got through to him. He's going to have to tune his rangefinder before the next one. Hoists it forward. Benucci really got caught in a trap there, and he just couldn't get out. Donnarumma can pick that up. Rashford finds himself offside. Italy have turned to their bench, and we're going to have a substitution. Jorginho. And it's played forward. He's had a go! Italy are definitely going about this the right way. Oh, this isn't the time to talk about risks now, Jim, is it? They just have to hurl everything at it and hope for a break. Well, there's no two ways about it. This is what they have to do. He's had a shot! And he's there to hoof it away. And here's Sterling. That intervention was very necessary. Get the pass he's looking for. Well, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Ah, uh, was too timid to make it through the defence. It'll be noted and, and improved upon, I'm sure. Rice battles to win it back. Promising move that good inroads into enemy territory, but no joy. Goes for goal! I've given such an open invitation, he was always going to shoot. It's almost criminal to see a defence fail to identify someone who thrives when it comes to shooting stats. They knew, and yet they didn't heed, and they've paid the price and deserved it. Italy making another change here. So we have a double substitution going on here. This is quite a battle. Well, from such a showpiece final as well, I think this is exactly the type of excitement that all the neutrals would have wanted on show. There's so many twists and turns in this game, it's a pleasure to watch. And here's Kane. Marco Verratti. And they can counter here. Bonucci with a long pass. And he's there to cut it out. Rashford is effectively being marked out of the game here. 
Yeah, now that he's scored, this defence is on high alert whenever he, he goes anywhere near the ball. Look, this can still go either way. It might be flowing one way, but there's still time for some ebb. Decent looking ball. Chiesa has got himself a free kick. No second thought, a straight red card. Well, the players are making their point, but the ref clearly isn't interested. He's waved them all away. Well, there may be some scope for debate over the seriousness of the offence, but none over its repercussions. They'll have to see out the rest of the game with ten men. Oh, what a goal! That is a gem! An absolute gem! And the game is well and truly turned on its head! Dispatched expertly, nicely done. Well, it's an inspired substitution, terrific move by the boss. That's how you make an impact as a sub, you know, when most... England making consecutive changes here. So we have a breakthrough. Now how will things develop from here? Well, they're very much the better team at the moment, Peter, and, and no doubt we'll be looking to, to cause even more damage here. Henderson. Well, it is a narrow lead, but they are clinging on to it right now. Just a few moments from glory. Peter, they have to fight the onset of desperation and keep enough cool heads to still deliver. Did very well to intervene. And it's Rashford. Kane gets on the end of it. He's gone for it! Fence has got rid of that. Look, with time running out, they have to get the ball in the penalty box, and if it means a long punt, then so be it. They've got to give themselves a chance. It's Immobile! Immobile quickly realised that he could have a pop, not his best. He's got through. That's gone a long way up and away. Chiesa. Oh, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Bonucci. Florenzi. Chiesa. Gorgeous control there. Chiesa proving impossible to wrestle off the ball. Jorginho gets it out to the wing. Florenzi with a great leap! Oh, great low ball in. No, that was a slick move. The final whistle and the end. The dream is over, the prize has got away.